If I were to assess him or his qualities and contributions, I would start with the quality, first-class person that he is. He's really passionate about helping people achieve uh, their goals through education, and he's also very focused. Dick is a certain steadiness about him. In other words, he's not flamboyant, but he's pragmatic and consistent and dependable. He's very driven to uh, have an impact, and that's something that I really value in Dick. You've heard the saying, perhaps, if you want to get something done, get somebody that's busy and got lots of things to do because they're used to that type of pace. And I think Dick would be disappointed if he didn't have a lot of things to do. This is a guy that's uh, been focused on building in the Triangle region educationally, research, uh, for many years. And he doesn't seem to tire. And he's just committed, always committed to what's the next best thing. I think that's what drives him. It's not just a, a matter of uh, being asked to do things. He volunteers to do things. And I, I actually never heard him say no to anything that sounded uh, exciting to him. Everything ties together, education and the economy. And, and he was the top guy at IBM for a long time here and then over at Centennial Campus. But all of that goes together. I mean, you can't just separate education from the economy. It's, it's all sort of a continuum, and Dick is at the forefront of so many of those issues. Dick is always going to be ahead of his time. He's, uh, he's a very innovative thinker. He, he keeps a track of trends. He's a, very, a person that adjusts very well to, to change, and actually is an agent for change. And that's something that I really admire in him, that uh, he's not stuck in the past. He never tells you that we should be doing things this way because we did it. Uh, back 10 years ago, he, he's always looking forward. He's able to bring people together and, because he has passion and vision and his personal commitment, and pe that's infectious. When people see him committing his time, his energy, his resources to a problem, they want to get on board and, and help. June 4th, Wake County voters decide whether to borrow $250 million to build 12 new schools and renovate a bunch more. You Dick Doherty leads the effort. I mean, he says voters like need to vote to issue and bonds and borrow the money. He says their tax rates will go sky high if the county has to build the same number of schools and pay cash for them. The rate we will end up paying in each individual in their tax bill will be two or three times greater than doing it through bonds. Just taking a look at what he's done with the Wake Education Partnership, the funds that he had helped to raise, the uh, number of teachers that have benefited from this, the programs that Wake Education Partnership has had over many, many years for teachers, for principals, uh, and the influence it's had is on students. It's not hard to do a calculation where hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people over the years have been uh, positively impacted by, by the work that Dick has been involved in. Within the Keenan Institute, uh, we formed something called the Keenan Fellows Program, which is really focused on helping science and math teachers across the state uh, learn more a about how to bring real-world examples into the classroom and enhance their educational, uh, the educational experience for the students. And that really came out of Dick Doherty's leadership. There's no greater person than Vernon Malone to me. Personal mentor and friend uh, and contributor to education. I think he and Dick are similar in many respects. To have someone of that stature in the community, that credibility in the community, and that corporate stature in the community, openly supporting education and genuinely supporting it, is um, that's what makes a system great, that gives it the potential to be great. And this one is, I think, in that level now, in that area.